You want to know what's so interesting? Just a couple days ago, I did a video talking about the calling out of what I like to call yellow supremacy, which is basically a branch of dub S and the video was talking about the basketball players over in Beijing and China basically being called everything but the a child of God. They were basically called the N-word the entire time, and they intensified their tone when the players were getting off of the bus and telling them that they don't belong in China and they need to go home. And you know the usual stuff that black people have heard for eons. Fast forward to today, in which I'm recording this video on January 25th, 2022, where you have yet another quote unquote model minority who, by the way, I didn't even know of this person's existence until today, where one of my uh, followers and shout out, shout out to Zarp on Twitter for tagging me in this post. And um, uh, Tariq, he's on right now, too. Like he's going in about this and for, for good reason. These are the people, like I said, we have to call out. Like I said on Twitter the other day, if y'all follow me, I said Twitter, I said on Twitter the other day, I said, you don't not I said white supremacy does not have to come in a shade of whiteness. It was just a simple tweet and I put it out there and I screenshot and I also put it up on my Instagram stories. I don't think I put it up on the page itself, but I did put it on the stories. And this right here is an example of what I'm talking about. In this picture, you see a woman by the name of Jenny Nguyen. I'm guessing that's how you pronounce her last name is it's spelled N-G-U-Y-E-N. And she was on this show called The Real Housewives of Salt Lake City. And listen, I don't keep up with these Real Housewives. I don't even know why these shows are still even on. But I guess everyone needs to be entertained every now and then. But there's a thin line between entertainment and reality. And let me be honest, it's nothing real about these shows. They are so scripted and badly scripted at that. But anything for ratings, views, money, and entertainment. But this woman's like name, like I said, is Jenny Nguyen, and she was on that show, and she was recently fired by Andy Cohen, who was the person who is at Bravo, who was pretty much like the executive producer for all the Real Housewives shows. And she was recently fired for some comments that surfaced today, um, some racist comments that she made dating back to 2020 involving like George Floyd and everything like that. You want to know what's so interesting? And this goes back to the video I just recently did. You have the so-called model minority that wants to use the hashtag stop Asian hate, but they can't stop being racist themselves. And it's no surprise to anybody that this group of people who got the label of model minority, whether they hate the label or not, they still have it by the so-called dominant society is following in the so-called dominant society's footsteps when it comes to their anti-black hatred. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to read, first off, let me read this post because I, I made sure to use this picture because I wanted um, y'all to see this caption that she has right here. She says, I want to acknowledge and apologize for my deleted Facebook post from 2020 that resurfaced today. Now, listen to that. She says, I want to acknowledge and apologize for my deleted Facebook post from 2020, which means somebody got on her about those posts when she made those posts then, but she left them up there and they got, and she deleted, she deleted them, but they resurfaced. Like they said on the internet, nothing is really gone from the internet in this land of screenshot and screen capture and video record. Nothing is really gone and scrubbed from the internet. This is not the nineties. Or even the early 2000s. We are in 2022. Stuff that you did. Hell to be honest. Stuff that you did back in the 90s. Can resurface things to the internet today. Look at the former first lady. And I'm going I'm to leave that alone. So she's apologizing. For posts that she made. That she knew was wrong. But in her mind back then. What she posted was not wrong. It was, it was valid. In her own Based on her own terms, it was a validated uh, response. And like I said, it was talking about George Floyd and, you know, BLM and police brutality. That's what she was talking about. But these are the same people that say that they're being discriminated against because of a virus that came from their a country in their native land. But they want to treat black people with disdain and utter disrespect and claim that we're doing them wrong. 
And I think there was some posts that she made outside of the Facebook that she has made that also resurfaced as well. If I can retrieve those, I'll insert those into the video as well. But let me continue. At the time, I thought I was speaking out against violence, but I have since learned how offensive and hurtful my comments or my words were. When you get wind of what she said, because I think they have some quotes in the article that I'm going to read, you're going to realize that she was not speaking out against violence. She was using the same talking points that uh, her PC paymasters. Yes, I say PC paymasters pedal towards black people or the black community as a whole all the time. In that moment, she was exercising her yellow supremacy. It's why I deactivated that count more than a year ago. No, she deactivated it because she thought if she, you know, did that, that they wouldn't resurface. Let's be real here. She's only apologizing because she got caught. They're never really apologizing for it's never really a genuine apology of I'm genuinely sorry for what I said. To be honest, even if you were being genuine, that apology would not be accepted. It's just it is what it is. And it shouldn't be. And why I continue to try to learn about perspectives different from my own. I regret those posts and am sincerely sorry for the pain they have caused. Well, she can keep her backhanded apology because I don't accept it. I don't. And I'm sure those of you out there listening don't either. And you got some people trying to hop into the comments, not mine, but I wouldn't be surprised if they were trying to say, oh, well, we shouldn't be so hard for F that. I remember, I think I did the video, the one I did about the, uh, the agents calling those black people the N word, getting off that bus. I had some trolls coming up in there trying to pull that crap. Nah, we, that's not about to happen. We call it out. We call all of it out over on this side. We, we're not biased. We are very unbiased over here. But now I'm going to go ahead and read this article that was posted actually yesterday on January 24th from People. And it's going to go into a little bit more detail. It says Meredith Marks is condemning behavior previously exhibited by her Real Housewives of Salt Lake City co-star Jenny Nguyen. Nguyen, age 44, is currently facing backlash, and rightfully so, for racially insensitive social media posts of hers that have resurfaced. And let me also again say she's apologizing because she just got fired. That's another reason she's got um she's apologizing. They cut that check short. And hopefully they any other ties or business ties that she has, get, she gets cut off, cut off, uh, cut off as well. She needs a complete and thorough financial overhaul. ASAP. Some of the now deleted Facebook posts were critical of the Black Lives Matter movement and the controversial death of George Floyd, a man who was killed in May 2020 by ex-police terrorist Derek Chauvin. Now, pay attention to this. She made sure to talk badly about George Floyd. BLM, even though we know we don't support BLM, at least not in the context in which it used to be supported. But we know where directions is, is headed in now. But we know why she doesn't like why she doesn't like it either. This was just an all out attack at black people. And she's trying to mask it and disguise it as. Um, that I thought I was speaking out against violence. OK, let's continue. And hopefully they got some quotes in here. When the news first broke, Mark's age 49 seemingly addressed it on Wednesday by tweeting vile. On Friday, she shared a quote from Martin Luther King Jr. Why did they do this? My goodness, they love. they. <laughs> and now this isn't coming from her, but I wouldn't be surprised if she tried that at one point in time. But this is coming from her co-star who was a PC woman and urged others to speak out against what is wrong and amplify those that are not being heard. There is no room in this world for hatred. We are all human beings and deserve the same treatment of respect and dignity. She wrote on Twitter, negative commentary rooted in prejudice regarding one's race, ethnicity, religion, sexuality, or gender is vile and should never be tolerated. Educate if it comes from a lack of knowledge and condemn it if it comes from a place of hatred. She added, I pray to see this world without prejudice. And she posted like a whole Martin Luther King screenshot quote on her page. Marks has since chosen to directly speak on the controversy, sharing a lengthy message on Twitter Sunday. Since it was not perfectly clear in my previous tweet, and I can now speak out in more depth, I am sick about my co-workers' racist and prejudicial posts that recently surfaced, she wrote. I do not stand behind or support these posts in any way, shape, or form. I stand with and support the communities affected and targeted by this, she continued. I am deeply disturbed and outraged by her actions. Black Lives Matter. 
Concluding her statement, Marx asked that fans remain patient in this situation. You will see repercussions, she wrote, as difficult as it is, give things a moment to come to light. Know that I do not support this behavior in any way and will continue to use my platform to speak out against it. The wind recently broke her silence by acknowledging and apologizing for her controversial post. At the time, I thought I was speaking out against violence, but I have since learned how offensive and hurtful my words were. I'm not even going to read the rest of that because that's basically the same quote here that I just read. She says, Marx isn't the only Real Housewives of Salt Lake City co-star to of no wins to publicly condemn her actions jen shah whose husband sharif shah and sons omar and sharif jr are black says she must now stand up on her family's behalf my thing is this why just stand up now i mean well if they didn't know and they're just now realizing okay i get it but don't turn into an overnight activist now because of what she said that's all i have to say I am deeply offended by the racially insensitive posts and comments. Jen, age 48, wrote on Instagram. And notice the age of these women. 42, 48, 49. These are all women that are over the hill. But, you know, that's besides the point. It was infuriating to see her like and repost comments that made a mockery of and show complete apathy toward those killed marching to bring awareness to the deep-seated social justice issues that plague our country. Jen added that she's equally disappointed by the disingenuous apology that Nguyen issued. Now, I will agree that, that this so-called apology was definitely disingenuous. She ain't mean that. Needless to say, we have some real ish to talk about. She concluded. Lisa Barlow, a longtime friend of Nguyen's, also addressed the controversy, saying her heart hurts for those hurt team. My heart is so heavy right now, I feel true and hurt and disappointment by the post that surfaced she wrote on instagram i do not condone nor am i aligned with them the posts were harmful and hurtful to a community i love working for change is constant it's something that i personally work towards daily she continued through action is where we all have the most impact and where we can have change that lasts i want to be a support and be a proponent for change and improvement Jen, Marks, and Barlow, as well as Real Housewives of Salt Lake City castmates Whitney Rose and Heather Gay, no longer follow the win on Instagram. On Monday, Andy Cohen confirmed on an episode of his Series X and Radio show, rant, show Radio Andy, that there are many serious discussions happening right now regarding the win's controversy, and it will be addressed very soon. Keep in mind, like I said, that this article was posted on the 24th, but since then she has been fired. People were very upset about the lack of discussion on last night's episode relating to Jenny's disgusting and upsetting posts. And I've also and I've also seen all the tweets wanting to know what's being done about those posts. He said, I just want to say in case anyone doesn't realize it, that there are many serious discussions happening right now about everything and about everything. The thing about it is there shouldn't have been any discussions. The minute that y'all found out about it, she should have been fired on the spot. Like, why do you have to go through that? I mean, I know you have business and you have to do the whole technical stuff and whatnot, but. F all that. If this was a black woman, they probably would have got her up out of there and wouldn't say, oh, we got to discuss this. We got to discuss that. No. If you want to keep your views and your fans that you currently have and possibly get some new ones, then you would get rid of her ASAP. But they've already done that. So, you know, that ship has already sailed. And I can't address the situation right now, but it will be addressed very soon. And thank you for your patience. And the posts were very upsetting, rightfully, and disgusting. Nguyen joined Real Housewives of Saint Salt Lake City in his second season during the Bravo's hit January 2nd episode. Nguyen shared her frustration with co-star Mary Cosby after she expressed her admiration for her slanted eyes. Now, keep in mind, now I just found out this Mary Cosby person was actually the only black cast member on the show. All the other cast members were PC. Uh, let me add the pause right quick. PC Asian, maybe ethnically ambiguous, and the one black woman. And it's shocking because Mary should be more educated and understand it's not appropriate to say stuff like that. That same episode, Nguyen called out Cosby while at a gathering with the other housewives. You're an adult. Take some responsibility right now. There's a lot of Asian hate tech responsibility for your words. Now, doesn't that isn't that the pot calling the kettle black? Now, she got on her this the black castmate for saying something about her eyes being slanted. Okay. 
fine, whatever. But she took it a step further when she made those posts and then just would not stop. She went in and, and what made what she said even worse is because she was making those comments around a very heavy time in America. First off, we was dealing with quarantine. We were dealing with Wuvit and lockdowns. On top of that, we had Breonna Taylor, Ahmaud Aubrey, and then the mother load the powder keg itself, which was George Floyd. And that's when she decided to do this. That's when she decided to pull this, this little stunt. But like I said, if I can find the post, I'm going to insert, I'm going to put them in here because from what I saw, because I did see some screenshots, man, she's trifling. But let me continue. Off screen, Cosby said on Twitter, her remark was coming from a place of a compliment. Okay, so that's pretty much the end of that article right there. Okay, so I think I found a couple of them. Here's one right here. It says, Jenny Nguyen, September 16, 2020. She says, no, that's not my family. That's how many rioters I've hit. Ron DeSantis down in Florida would love her. Just based off of this post. If you know, you know. Here's another post she made on September 23rd, 2020, which was a few days later. She said, I'm sick of people saying cops need more training. You had 18 years to teach your kid is right. I'm sorry, is wrong to loot, steal, set buildings ablaze, block traffic, laser people's eyes, overturn cars, destroy buildings and attack citizens who failed who. Now, granted, she was definitely talking towards black people when she said that. As if all black people are bad parents, we they, we don't know how to raise our kids. They're just unruly and all the all of that. Uh, let's ask the Asian community how they raise their kids because they're not all all the way there themselves. Keep in mind, there was a video I did a couple was it a couple months back, a few months back of an Asian teen or an Asian guy and a and a PC male who slaughtered this nigerian family i think in california somewhere on the west coast and i can pull up a bunch of different stories uh about what asians have done to each other such as we can take it a step further remember last year when you had that asian guy who killed that other asian guy who went to some prestigious school and he was on the run and they found him in georgia but the well, he killed the guy all the way in the upper northeast of the of the establishment i forgot what state he was in some of y'all remember what i'm talking about i talked about it on my channel i talked about it when it happened and when they caught him it took them almost a month or a little over a month before they captured him and when they caught him he was in georgia and there's so many other stories out there but furthermore to her post it wasn't just black people jenny it wasn't just black people out there that was quote unquote looting and stealing and setting buildings ablaze. As a matter of fact, the person who set that police department on fire, that famous picture y'all saw was a PC man. I think I was one of the few or one of the only people to talk about it because lamestream media did not talk about it at all. I could not find much of anything outside of what people had sent me about him. I had his name and his picture out there. And the video is still very much up on YouTube. So apparently I wasn't lying because if I was, YouTube would have took the video down or blocked it, but it's still up. And when I'm talking about that police department, the Minneapolis police department after what happened with George Floyd, that picture. So when it comes to looting and stealing and setting things on fire, that's not conducive to just black people, but they'll have you to believe that it is. And then say that we are bad parents. Here's another post from her on September 2nd, 2020. Hundreds of blacks. Look, listen to that. Hundreds of blacks. Blacks, not black people, blacks. I always it always run me the wrong way when people say blacks like that. Hundreds of blacks. Shot and many killed, including children by other blacks every week. Over a thousand officers violently injured, some permanently by rioters, anarchists rioting in major cities every night, which has caused billions of dollars of destruction to private and public property. And you still think police officers are the problem. You are an idiot. So she's one of them Blue Lives Matters individuals. She's one of those. 
I can tell. Now, here's the kicker. Let's look, watch this. Look at this. This is a picture from a video that she did talking about anti-discrimination. They said, hi, my, everyone. My name is Jenny Nguyen. I'm here to stand up against discrimination. So please stop the hate. What she was talking about was not discrimination against black people. She was talking about discrimination against Asians. This was in the height of the whole stop Asian hate mantra. That's where this came from. Now, keep in mind everything that I have read to you before this, the article that I read in her so-called apology, and this is the and, th and this is what she topped it off with, which means she had to have made this video probably last year because the previous post that I read was all from 2020 and they all was in the month of September. All in the month of September. But I think that this had to have been made if this was made in the height of stop Asian hate, this had to have been when uh, around the February, March area, because that's when they passed that bill. That's when they passed that legislation was around March of last year. So that's that's where she this is where this is at. She has a lot of nerve. To say all of that, she said, and then on top of that. In her so-called apology, you're going to say, oh, I thought that I was uh standing up against violence. You call that standing up against violence by saying the most stereotypical things about black people. And, and like I said, I was going to uh, misquote myself. I'm about to say she didn't have to say black people, but clearly she did when she said blacks in the previous post that I just read. At first, she well, honestly, I read them out of order. She did come at black people overtly and then she was subliminally saying it in the previous in the tweets or the post that followed days and weeks later so she came out swinging and then she tried to be subliminal about it it was too late we already knew what she was talking about so you take all of what i just talked about in this video and ask me do i feel bad for this heifer that got fired because i don't and again another reason why you will not see me walking around here talking about some hashtag stop Asian hate. If I do put that hashtag in there, it's to bring awareness to why we as black people don't need to support it. And with that being said, I'm going to end the video on that note. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comments. Like, share, and subscribe if you are new to the channel. Make sure you hit that bell so you can be notified every time I upload a new video. And I will talk to you in the next one.